Hi, this is Phil Shapiro in Tacoma Park. I wanted to show you about this cool little solution I, I put together. I work at a public library and somebody dropped off this free computer as a donation. It's a compact Presario desktop. I think it's a Core 2 Duo and it came with Microsoft Vista, which was a couple years back, but Vista had a lot of processing requirements, so this computer is not all that slow. It's got two gigabytes of memory. So I installed Linux Mint 17 uh, XFCE, which is a lightweight Linux, and I put on an Inkscape. And I bought this monitor here. This is a mono price monitor. I paid $400 for it, and it's 2560 by 1440 pixels. Now, what I would love to do with this monitor and this free computer is to maybe lend it out to somebody who's unemployed and they can develop skill at doing vector graphics. Um, they could also teach themselves Scribus, uh, which is a free desktop layout program, a little bit similar to InDesign or PageMaker from the old days. And you can see there's just so many pixels on this, on this uh, monitor. To connect this computer to this monitor, we, I did have to put in a, a, a graphics card. And a friend of mine helped me with that. He gave me a graphics card, my friend Carlos. And that graphics card has what's called dual DVI link. Um, and this monitor does accept a VGA input from the old days, but they, the, um, the owner's manual says that's mostly for emergency use. It's not kind of the, the typical setup. So you could also use this, uh, this monitor could also be used with like a, a MacBook laptop if you're doing some Final Cut video editing. Uh, you would need to get an adapter from the mini display port to dual link DVI. Those cost about $100. But this is one gorgeous monitor. Um, and as you can see, uh, if I click here, I can move around. This is vector graphics. Vector graphics does not require as much processing power as bitmap graphics. Bitmap is typically with Photoshop. So this Inkscape is like Illustrator, and it just doesn't require as much processing power. And we have no pixelation on the screen as we increase or decrease the size of the graphics, there's no pixelation on the screen. So this is a, um, a, a really interesting solution with a, a no-cost computer, no-cost operating system, Linux, no-cost outstanding software called Inkscape, and there's even free training for Inkscape that's no cost. So if you add no cost, no cost, no cost, no cost, and a $400 monitor, you end up with an interesting package that can be used for graphic design, I'd like to see these also in public libraries. We could set up a graphic station, not for internet use, only for graphic use, and people would use this with Inkscape, GIMP, maybe some Blender, Blender's 3D graphics or 3D animation, that's free software, open source. Um, and maybe, wouldn't it be so interesting if this uh, graphic design station were hooked up to a color laser printer, a tabloid size, 11 by 17. And that way, people could come to the library and do some graphic design that they could use either on their websites, in their videos, or print to 11 by 17 tabloid color, uh, color laser printing. So this is Phil Shapiro. I wanted to show you this solution. Um, this is pretty interesting. Once in a while, these monoprice monitors also go on sale. You might see this nice 2560 by 1440 monitor for like $300 rather than $400. That's a very attractive price for such a, an excellent piece of creative, uh, uh, it's a creative tool. So this is Phil Shapiro signing off.